Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a flower arrangement that I decided to do with, at, for my room. Uh, so I'm just going to show you guys step by step on what I used and what I needed and what I did. So I, I bought, you can choose any basket of your choice. Grab two boxes of the uh, foam. I did some rhinestones that were adhesive and then I also used six bunches of pink roses. You can use any color you would like. I started off with, here's a couple more items that I actually used. I needed a butter knife, scissors, glue from my glue gun. I actually didn't use my glue gun so scratch the glue gun. I started off with measuring the rhinestones against the basket that I decided to use. I went ahead and cut across right there where it ended. I measured it again against the basket. Um, I wasn't going to be able to wrap that all the way around with that one piece so I had to cut them in pieces because of the way the basket is shaped. I went ahead and started putting each piece. As you go on, you will not be able to flatten the rhinestones, so you will eventually have to cut some pieces off so that it can continue to go all the way around. You will notice me doing that. So here is the basket completely done with the rhinestones. It did take me some time just to figure everything out. I then went ahead and took my foam boxes and fit them in the box in the uh, container itself, the basket. So whatever basket you end up getting, you'll either need more foam or less foam. I needed a little less so one of them I did start to cut down. Uh, 
I then grabbed my roses and I measured the, the uh, stem against the basket to see how much I was going to need from it. I was cutting with scissors, but then I saw that it was a uh, wire, so I needed a wire cutter. So my husband went and got me a wire cutter from the garage, which made life so much easier. I then also took the leaves off. I didn't want to use the leaves for the bouquet. So I took those pieces off. I then started putting um, each rose stem into it. I started in the perimeter of the basket and just made a circle all the way around. I, I did fix some as I went, but I mostly did that at the end. So. So there goes the perimeter all done and then I started to go ahead and put some flowers in the middle. You might not need all six uh, bunches of roses. You, I would say about four to five. To be on the safe side, get a five if you do decide to make this. Just so that it can be nice and full. Now I'm just looking to see if there's any gaps and pulling the roses out a little bit so I so it can be more circular. So guys, that is my completed look. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned throughout the video. And here goes my finished product. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe.